put in another, oh my goodness, can you see that? Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you're all doing well. We are just taking another look at our little red pandas who are actually doing really well. Um, they are struggling a little bit with their shyness, but I don't really know what else we can kind of do for them. Oh, look, climbing the tree. Because they really don't have that many viewing points. Um, the guests are too far away to view them over in this section. And I haven't really put much here that they can kind of play on. I suppose they can climb on things, but it's not as... Um, it's not, it's not like the otters or the like the penguins who are like right you're know, right in the habitat the guests think it is overpriced okay so let's see if we can get away with oh god not 3500 that's ridiculous 35 and say yeah let's leave that as 20, 35 and 25 i'm not sure I, I don't think i'm gonna go any higher than that so we're probably just gonna have to kind of live with the notification that the tickets are underpriced um it's, it's otherwise it's, it's just getting a little bit expensive isn't it so we have no crying which is really good okay so thirst i have put in some more shops so let me show you what i have done so i've put in another toilet over here for the guests they got one there and another one there and over here Oh look, there are people are already coming around to use it. So we've got the hats and balloons and we've also got the food and drink over here as well. Um, so I've put that in. So hopefully that will help with the thirst and the hunger for our guests. Um, I do also want to put in like a really nice big seating area in this section. So I'll probably do that today and try and decorate this a little bit, maybe with like some, a nice water feature or something like a pond. And then the giraffe, when we eventually do put the giraffe in, it will go in this large section here and the path will kind of join up. And then over here, maybe we can put a ride in that we talked about in the last episode. So we have some plans, so it's all good. I'm gonna decorate this a little bit as well. Um, I just don't really know what to kind of put here um maybe i don't know maybe like the pond can kind of go here and we can decorate it there a little bit excuse the rain but everyone seems to be buying umbrellas which is really helpful oh yeah that's what i might do actually i might put in another oh my goodness can you see that did you just see the skittle like somersault all the way over here like that was insane goodness me i hope <laughs> can you imagine if that hits on on the head god um yeah i might put in actually another information center over here because nobody can really buy umbrellas after they've come in so i don't know maybe we utilize this area and we put in another one here and then we decorate around it we put it kind of along here hmm maybe like over this way as well yeah, so it just looks a little bit, little bit silly stuck there by itself, doesn't it? And we're not really using this space for anything, I suppose. So, sorry guys, I'm just going to block your view. I'm going to put in the information centre here. Just like that. Alright, yeah, and then, then we all, all we need to do is just put a little a few little plants there. And then maybe the little, little river can kind of come through here. But I'm not sure. We shall see. Let me just quickly put that in a work zone. So hopefully then that will really help with some extra little bit of income for us and the guests can carry on and buy some things. Why are we all struggling with our bin situation? I don't understand what's happening. They're, they're all full, but yet we've got loads of cleaners. Maybe we do. Hang on. No, see, we do have lots of cleaners and they do have efficient workload. I don't know what to do. Where is everybody? Everyone's commuting. One over there. Hmm, I might get a few more then. Even though, because I suppose the park is quite big. Okay, so maybe let's get one, two, three, four. Okay, and let's put some bins around here as well. There you are, look, they're doing something. So that's always good. Let's put a few bins here. Just like that. One there and one there. Maybe just one on the end until so we don't forget about it later. Um, yeah, let's quickly put them in their work zone then. Whilst we're here, we will 
upgrade them and train all our staff. Security guard, no work, saying that's fine. Okay, so cleaners. Cleaners, perfect. Okay, I think everybody else is okay at the moment. Keepers do have quite a high workload, so maybe let's get two more for them. That's low workload at the moment. Okay, everybody seems to be really happy so far that they work here, so that's always nice. Um, let's put on a couple more socials. So let's do social club, health club, and then another social club. That's fine. We've only got a few people in the staff room at the moment, so that is always really helpful. Okay, perfect. So I think our staff are all kind of content. Let's have a look at our animals. Okay, so we need to release one of these because they're getting upset. So we can only quick trade that one. Um, okay, so we've got another tapir and lots more penguins. I think we might have to take a look at our exhibits as well, so they're not overflowing with animals. Yep, our amber leopards okay. Our little water buffaloes are fine. Our little siamangs are all good as well. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's change the location and then let's just have a look at our exhibit animals and just see how we are. Okay, so we do have some elderly iguanas. They grow up so fast. I wonder if they might, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the feet of the male just now. I didn't think about checking that. Okay, but we do have some more male poisonous frogs. So that's fine. So we can just carry on the little legacy from that. Yeah, I think everybody seems to be okay at the moment. So we don't need necessarily need to worry about them too much. Our animals' foods are okay. Water buffalo condition of the barrier needs a little look at. Okay, perfect. So we've done pretty much everything that we can so far in regards to zoo maintenance and animal maintenance. Um, all the little, oh, look at the little baby Simon having a little refresh in the water sprinkler there. How is our tapirs doing? So we've got one there. I'm guessing the rest are in here. One's there. And the little babies there as well. So they are doing great. So we have our little leopards in here doing good as well. They are playing with our boxes and generally having a nice time. And we've got the little baby here perfectly happy as well. Are our horses doing all nice and happy, running around? Two little babies. There we are, all running around nice and happy in here. Anybody sleeping in here, do we think? Oh yeah, we've got a little baby one sleeping in here. Very cute, nice and happy. We've got two of them in here playing in their little water with their boxes and one's just outside. Lovely. Okay, so let's nip next door and have a look on the neighbouring penguin. Look at them all in here. Very, very busy, which is really good, but we just need to keep an eye and just make sure they got enough room. I'm sure they have because we made the habitat way bigger than what we, what we needed to, but got lots of little babies, which is good. So I think this is pretty much all of our babies. What I have done is um, I did ask everybody whether or not you wanted to see some staff building um, because I know you've seen me do it lots and lots of times. So, and um, most of the, most of you all said that no, you weren't really that that fussed about seeing the staff buildings over and over again. So, what I will do is sometimes I'll cut them out, sometimes I'll cut them up, um, but like the editing up. So you'll see bits and bobs of them, um, just in case you are interested. Um, and then others, I'll just kind of cut them out. So this is what I've done for this particular episode. Um, I have just kind of copied one over from the water buffalo habitat, I think this one is, and then just added on some solar panels and water treatments as well. So I am thinking we put in the Semeter horned oryx in this episode. So I am wondering whether we use this section, this big section here for them. And then this section down the bottom here could be maybe the like the okapi or something. Uh, maybe it stops here. And then we can then start filling this section up with the African wild dog and the d-hole and then we can then start going into our bengal tigers and our siberian tigers and then obviously down here is going to be the restaurant with 
the gorilla and the ele Indian elephant and the other tapirs and the proboscis monkey as well as down here we also need to put in our giraffe our bonobo and our ring-tailed lemur so we've still got plenty to do so I'll build this habitat and I'll also put in a kind of a nice little decoration seating area as well down in the other section of the zoo where we were next to the Siamang. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to see what they're all about. Okay, so they are extinct in the wild, which is quite sad. Um, so I'll let you pause and you can have a little read if you wanted to. So we can have one male and ten females. Okay, that's interesting. I was thinking maybe we did our normal ratio of one to four, uh, sorry, one to one male to two females, but I don't know whether or not we could maybe, I mean, hold on to your seats, everybody, have four females. I don't know, it's getting wild over here, but you never know. So one dominant male per group, so they are shy. Okay. I didn't think about them being shy. Okay, that's fine. What we might have to do then is have a little bit of a watery area around the outside so the guests can see them but they're not so close to them like they are with the horses so let's have a look and see how much room that they need so 1.25 meters don't need a lot of water or no water requirement but we'll put a little bit in anyway just to make it like a little bit nicer like we have with the horses so let's say four adults now, because they only have one offspring, that'll be three. So that'll be 450. So they really don't need that much at all. So let's go over to our animal trading. Uh, let's first of all take a look and see if there is any little exhibits. No, that's fine. Let's have a look and see if we can find the animal that we want. Okay, so we are going to be spending some credits. And there's really not that many of them, actually. Um, okay, so we might have to get all three females. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've got all three females that are currently av available to us. So they're not too bad, actually. They're they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, maybe we should get like a youngish kind of male. This one's not bad at all. That's probably the best one. Let's get this one. Perfect. So now we just go and grab them from here. Okay, and then we will put them in the quarantine area over here. Okay, so whilst they're in there, let's grab our exhibit animal trophy. Everybody okay? Oh, the tapir's got a low welfare. You all right? Oh, well, it's a little bit sad because it's stressed. Are you okay? Are you stuck in any way or are you all right? Nope, they're fine. Okay, so I'm going to build this habitat and i will be back with you shortly and i'll also build maybe something over here as well it at the same time so i'll be back with you in just a moment
we have now finished the Semeter Horned Oryx. Look at them. Look at their horns. Like, that's huge. They're huge horns. This is their habitat. It is really, really big. But it's fine because this is what we want for our conservation zoo. Um, so we've got a quite a big little kind of river in the middle. And it goes around the outside of the habitat as well. The fence level drops right down as well, all the way around. Um, I've put the water in to try and keep the animals kind of in the centre so they don't get as stressed because they are shy. So I don't really want them coming right up to the fences. Um, so I thought this might kind of help if we kind of put it going all the way around the perimeter of the habitat. So you can come around here and I've just blocked off this section of the habitat as well just so they can kind of go in the water as well without everybody staring at them and looking at them just a little bit of privacy we've got some rocks kind of falling into the little river in the middle and there are enrichment items placed around with some little tufts of grass and little bits of flowers as well now they don't like a lot of plants um, a little bit like our penguins more enrichments as well and <laughs> oh dear he's um he's headless and then we've just got some like rocks and some little um, cactuses placed around as well because they do like more desert kind of plants. So I thought I'll throw some of cactuses in there as well. So yeah, nice kind of big open habitat. Let me zoom out so you can see. Just like that. And we've got a little, the little wall that backs over here as well. We also have the little art section so the little kids can mark it off. Oh, there's one. His little hat on, uh, mark it off his little activity packs that they don't have in game, but we're pretending that they do. So then we can come through here and go into their inside section of the habitat. Um, nothing much in here really, just a little water bowl and um, and a little enrichment item as well, along with some lights. And the guests can look in here as well if they want to, just like that. And they've got their education as well. So coming around here, you've also got the staff amenities. I was actually supposed to put the wall going across here as well, but I forgot to do that. So I will do that off camera. I have put in some more kind of little picnic areas really, um, just along here, just going past the ATMs and the conservation boards. This is one little picnic area. You've got little picnic tables in here with the old umbrella and you could see the staff walking down the path just there um which wouldn't bother me but we know our guests don't necessarily like to see staff members or um amenities so i've just used the fence uh, the grass fence just here let me go through the trees and you can see just like this um so i just used the habitat grass kind of hedge fence and I think it works really well just to kind of segregate this section off from the picnic area. So I did that there. Over the other side of the zoo, I'm just going to get us there. We're just kind of going to have a little walk around the zoo as we go. We can walk past all the food in the shops. God, it's busy over this area, isn't it? My goodness. All the balloons are going off in the distance just there. Um, so we've obviously put in the information centre that was just coming up here and then um, earlier on. And I've kind of decorated this area with plants and our little Siamang um, statues, which I thought was really cute. Um, we just kind of created a really quick little pond area for them. And I, I just sat them in the water and I thought that was just a little bit so that's something else just to break it up kind of create a little bit of something different over in this area and fill it up a little bit um i'm not gonna block this area off here because i thought people can look straight through and have a look and see where they want to go next a couple of maybe a couple of trees here and just there just to fill in the gaps so that's perfect looking good there so yeah so they can the guests can come round and they can have a little look at the Siamangs in the water and the real Siamangs just there. And the guests can come round and we have another little picnic area just here and they can cut through and go round to the other side where the giraffes are gonna be eventually. Um, but we've got some guests using it just now. So that's exactly the same as the other side. Um, 
just loads and loads of little picnic benches with the old umbrella and around here we put in some food and drink and kind of decorated it a little bit more as well um, and I thought if we when we do put in a ride maybe we could put the entrance of it over here or something and then eventually that will join up to this and create kind of the west africa uh, west i think it's called the west lowland gorilla i might be completely wrong but something is is the gorilla anyway so um yes we have good plans anyway for the zoo oh yes we had a uh, pea horse grow up as well didn't we and oh my goodness we've had two already that was quick two red pandas we can go and have a little look at those as well before we end the episode let's just put our m's and our d's in so m for mother d for dad let's quickly whilst we're here just take a look and see so we can put these ones on and we do need to get rid of a few frogs as well um but what i'll do is i'll probably leave that now for the next episode um ready for our staff maintenance a little bit of the videos um so let's go and have a look at our pandas Okay, here we are. We have a little baby panda in here. So we do have two. Hang on a second. Let me just get rid of all these menus. We do have two here. Look, oh, there we are. How cute. Really see its little whiskers there. Yeah, so I don't know where the other one is. Oh no, there's the other one. There, there we are. So we've got two little fluffy ones in here. Let's just see. So we've got a male and this one. Is, oh two males okay cool that's really good let's just move this in because i don't know why it's poking out like that yes yeah, so we've got two male pandas so that's excellent okay then everybody i think i'm going to leave this episode here thank you so much for watching please do um comment down below any suggestions thoughts or anything that i might have missed it really does mean a lot and greatly appreciated because i do sometimes forget to do things and Give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That also means a lot as well. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.